we are back again with another video in this video we are going to discuss about how you can create a cron job in laravel 9 so cron job basically uh, why we need it sometimes we need to make uh, some automation something so you can set a, a time durations whatever times so you want to make a time schedule so this way you can do so here i have already written a blog i'm going to explain you every step by step also i have a written a code i will show you how we can make this right so what are the steps you know to follow previously i was make this video in laravel 9 uh, laravel 8 and here we have the latest version which is a laravel 9 so i just created this video so first of all you need to install the laravel 9 if you don't know how to install the laravel 9 you can check out my previous video i have already uploaded in real programmer channel right so here we have a uh, laravel uh, 9 we need to start first of all we need to install and second one we need a create a command right so basically why we need it because uh, we uh, need a file to create uh, write a functions inside of the uh, the create command right so what we will do we will also uh, register this in the task scheduler right we will write a command inside this and we will add task schedulers and then we will run a command for the test right and then the last step basically set the cron job on the live server or your text server so we will check in the local machine uh, you can try the same way in your uh, server right so first uh, this command will help you to install how to install laravel right suppose if you have already composer if you don't know how to install composer i have also uploaded a previous uh, you can check out from my previous series how to install composer then what are the things is required laravel uh, for the laravel line php 8 so if you don't know how to install the php 8 version you can check out my video okay uh, so so this is step uh, we need to write so this one the last one which is basically whatever project you want to create you need to put there right so once you put there uh, the core this is our project line then you need to go inside of the project and uh, you need to create a need a run basically this command this command will help you to create a file or uh, create a command so inside of the app console and commands we will find the test cron right so here you can check here you can check we have the file and inside of the files we have added already like app console and command something right so inside of this file you can check the signatures we have uh, like we we need to put like this a demo and the demo uh, colon and we have added already cron and here the descriptions which is the command description so whatever you need you can put to your right so constructor we have here and here we added like a handle so whatever request is coming cron is working fine so log we are printing there right so then here we have a write at your database logic whatever is you want to fetch and update whatever right so here write a database logic inside the handle right so here the create and uh, items we have and create we add in like a hello something right so this way i added so here we need to uh, you need to add suppose you want to add every minute then you can set uh, every minutes every five minute every 10 minute whatever time so tables you need to run these functions right so this way we can add uh, functions like we have predefined something so this you can define this one right and hardly and then what we need to this uh, this commands we need to also add inside of the kernel right we can add so once you added like a command test cron we added is a protected right so this way we have a kernel i will show you in my code also and let me show you so first the text cron, uh, cron file i already explained about uh, how this is working right so we have a signature which is a protected for the descriptions we have also we have added as a protected same for we have the constructor so constructor will call automatically you hope so you know about it and handles we added like this way right so we add and write a normal log file right so if you need any things like a database thing so you can put there right so whatever you need and here just be printing like a cron is working on or something just printing log and the kernel the kernel what we have done we have defined this protected inside of it right commands text and control so this way you can define like this one this path is basically we have defined right so now is a schedulers we added for every five minutes so our command will run automatically our cron job will work after every five minutes so you want to add a something uh, whatever is uh, you want every second every minute whatever is every five minute every 15 minutes so you can add, add here right the functions is here we have and here also 
like this one we have the command and we add it require the console the command right so this way you can try okay uh, let me verify this one okay so this way you can add and uh, let me okay so once you add it what you need to do let me show you so once you add it you need to run a command for the you know making the live and uh, so this way and here you can run run a php artisan run right schedulers run we need to run so once you add it like you can check here we have the version and this is working fine right so uh, running scheduler commands we got this message right contribute is working fine so this is working fine and uh, so hope so you can check is from your machine also right and uh, one more thing so once we get and we can also try in the server and if you need any help from my side right so you can check out my uh, one second let me go this is working fine okay the artisans command we have run the, this is working fine and uh, if you need any other help from my side let me know i will create a separate video for you also uh, in server also if you need uh, make a server i will create a separate video i will show you live example also if you're looking at domain and hosting plans you can check for the domain ratio here you can click on the web hosting and here you can check a uh, different kind of hosting plans is there like a basic professional and silver this is my personal experience that's why i'm sharing with you uh, most of the developers asking me which uh, server is fine for them right so i just created a simple video and uh, just explaining about the domain ratio how the service providing if you need a technical support they will also help you how uh, you can solve your problem they will help you and right and uh, suppose if you are having a single website and you don't need a, a lot of space then you can go for this and if you are having the multiple uh, you know a lot of data then a single website then you can go for this and also the silver plan basically if you having a three website something then you can select for silver and advance for the unlimited web hosting plan right so depends on your requirement you can select the plan and if you need any other help let me know definitely i will create a separate video for you thank you for watching this video